Hello, database enthusiasts. Welcome back to our MySQL Mastery Series. We've covered various topics, from MySQL database design to querying MySQL data. Today, we'll explore the world of MySQL views. We'll learn how to create and use views, as well as create complex views with joins and subqueries. So if you're ready to simplify your complex queries, hit that like button and let's begin. A MySQL view is a virtual table that is based on the result set of a select statement. Views allow you to simplify complex queries, reuse code, and provide a layer of abstraction over your tables. Remember, views don't store data themselves. Instead, they display data stored in the underlying tables. Let's see how we can create and use views in MySQL. Create a simple view that displays customer names and their total order amounts. We'll use the create view statement, followed by the view name and the select statement that defines the view. Once the view is created, we can use it just like a regular table in our queries. Sometimes, we need to create more complex views that involve data from multiple tables. MySQL views can be created using joins to combine data from different tables seamlessly. Here, we'll create a view that displays the details of each book and its author. We'll use the select statement to fetch data from the books and authors tables and an inner join to link them using the author id. We can also create views using subqueries to encapsulate complex logic or aggregations. In this example, we'll create a view that displays the top selling books and their total sales. We'll use a subquery in our select statement to calculate the total sales for each book, and then sort the results by total sales in descending order. To modify an existing view, we can use the alter view statement, followed by the view name and the new select statement. To remove a view completely, we simply use the drop view statement, followed by the view name. In this example, we'll update our top selling books view to include the author name, and then demonstrate how to drop the view when it's no longer needed. Congratulations! You've just discovered the power and convenience of my SQL views. By creating and using views, you can simplify complex queries and enhance your overall database experience. In our upcoming videos, we'll delve into more advanced my SQL topics, so be sure to stay tuned. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and share this video with your fellow database enthusiasts. Thanks for watching and happy querying.